So there have been some headlines about apples and how they have really high amounts of microplastics. There was an Italian study done back in 2020, which was the first to actually measure micro and nano plastics. Those are the physical pieces of plastic that actually come off, okay? In this Italian study back in 2020, they found that apples had super high amounts of microplastics. However, once you get past the alarming headline, when you actually dig into the study, it's a little bit less alarming. FYI, in our body, microplastics are now linked to accelerated neurodegeneration, which increases your risk of heart attack, stroke, unaliving, lots of different types of cancer, specifically colorectal cancer. They took fruit samples from lots of different places, from, from outdoor fruit markets in Italy, as well as supermarkets. Guess what? The samples from the outside street markets those had way more microplastics than the samples found inside. And in the study, they actually thought that it was the age of the tree, right? Which is the reason that so many microplastics were absorbed through the roots and then got into the fruit, okay? You can also think about how long that apple is outside. And if there's microplastics in the air, it may very well stick to the outside of the apple, right? On the skin. And you do eat the skin of the apple. That was the very first study that had ever been done on this topic. And there are tons of microplastics in agriculture. It's they use plastic mulches, they use like fertilizers with, which have plastic additives, they use plastic films, and then there's just greenhouses and hydroponics. Like plastic is kind of inescapable. But there have been some more recent studies that weren't as bad as that first initial study out of Italy. However, you should still eat apples, and here's why, okay? Apples and all fruits and vegetables come with tons of beneficial polyphenols and phytochemicals, and those offset the damage done by microplastics. All of our food is gonna have microplastics. Okay, you need to eat foods that have the least amount of microplastics, but also have the highest amounts of nutrients to offset the damage of the microplastics that we will inevitably be ingesting. Processed foods have way more microplastics across the board than fresh fruits and vegetables. All of the plastic machinery and the packaging, and guess what? Protein and meat, especially processed meats, have way higher microplastics than fruits and vegetables. So at the end of the day, eating a plant-based diet is still the absolute healthiest option and the best way to go.